polls are mana, you know, in terms of what these voters are thinking, especially mm -hmm. in the Rust Belt. Let me throw up a couple of exit polls with regard to how Bernie Sanders outperformed Secretary Clinton in uh, Michigan. When they were asked about if they were very worried about the U.S. economy, 56% of them went for Sanders mm -hmm. instead of 41 uh, for uh, Clinton. When they were asked if they believed international trade takes away American jobs, 58% sure. uh, you know, voted for Sanders next to Clinton's 41. And then this most important priority, whether it was uh, you know, being honest and trustworthy, Sanders ran away with that one. 80% of them went for Sanders as opposed to 19% for Secretary Clinton. So. I know you've seen numbers somewhat like this before, mm -hmm. but now that you've seen them in the place where you're going on Tuesday, I mean, this is really the same geography. We are you going to have to from yesterday? Yeah, Michigan from yesterday. You're yeah. heading to Ohio. Mm -hmm. uh, are you going to have to take into account this kind of thing and start tooling the message directly to fight those numbers? Well, there's a couple of things. I mean, obviously, trade is an important issue, and Senator Sanders spent a lot of time talking about the '90s and attacking uh, Hillary for her husband's record. But he didn't talk a lot about what he would do now and in the future. So we think that's an important conversation to have. He also didn't talk that much about her record as senator when she actually had a vote. She did vote against trade agreements. She did vote against CAFTA. But again, that's one part of the economic picture and the economic message. So absolutely, we are going to talk about things like, you know, how to create jobs, how to increase incomes. And I guess, you know, the, the other piece that I want to talk about here is, I mean, when you've had the amount of money, sustained money being spent against you, undermining you, attacking you, I, you are going to see those, you might see those kinds of numbers. So obviously that's, I think, a factor we have to take into account. And I think the Sanders campaign should be asking themselves, you know, when they have that kind of attack coming at them, are they going to be able to, you know, sustain that kind of lead? But most importantly, as we go into next Tuesday's states, the Sanders campaign has the opportunity. They need to show, I think, that they can put together a winning coalition of voters. Uh, they say they're come behind. That's great. Let's see if that bears itself out next Tuesday. One of the things I think that's so important about what we saw last night, not just in that landslide in Mississippi, mm -hmm. but still, again, in Michigan as well, because, again, it was very close. Hillary has been able to put together a coalition of voters, and that is how you win an election, that both in the primary and the general. You cannot win the presidency in this country. I know Donald Trump likes to say otherwise, without African Americans, Latinos, women, you, you simply can't. So he's, I think, still got to show that he's capable okay. of putting that coalition together effectively. Book your calendar for Wednesday right here.